Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Hangout with Busayo. Nothing happens by accident. There are things our eyes cannot see. A complete one. Every challenge you have to be strategize, look at what you can do to, to beat the odds to come up higher. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Hangout Busai. I need to apologize for last week. I did not drop any content. I feel so bad and terrible. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. It won't happen again. I'll try my best to make it not happen again. I can't promise. Should I promise you? Okay, we're back and I'm happy that we have content for you this week. And that today on the program, we have someone who is the owner of Ninja Gospel Play and also a gospel music minister. He's going to tell us a whole lot. He's a, he's a, he's a groom to be. A groom, is a groom to be, bright to be. Room to be bright to be any one of them just make sure that you subscribe and the subscribe button below and make sure that you share this video share this and subscribe please like and drop your comments we'll go on a short break and after the break we'll be in the studio with our guest to learn a lot although he's a bright is a, is a say bright to be groom to be he's a bridegroom bye <laughs> not bye sorry i'll be right back <laughs> Welcome back from that short break. Today in the studio, we have Felix Jr. Let me know, Felix, a.k.a. Jr. <laughs> okay, we have Felix Jr. in the house. And as I said earlier in the introduction, he's the, um, let's say, the CEO. Let me use CEO, because CEO is very, is very bojum. So he's the CEO of Niger Gospel Play. Uh, if you want any gospel song you want, now just go and type it there. You're going to see it and other things. He's also a gospel music minister. We have him with us in the studio. Have an always come with the camp because he won't marry next month, <laughs> next two months. Now he just oh, sorry, man, not to come again. Oh. But it's true. You are getting married in two months' time, and I think you're now you're now doing come and collect it. So that in case your fiance or your wife to be is watching, she will not say, Oh, my husband is calm. That's it. <laughs> no, that's not it actually. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. Hmm, you say here I am sending <laughs> like, as if like the sacrificial lamb. Okay, so um Felix has been a while in the gospel music ministry and yeah. also on your on your side. So we have you are you are you are in different things. How are you able to cope, manage those things? You're a gospel minister, you have a blog and you still work. How do you manage all those things together? Okay, it's not always easy for me because I have to make time make sure of my time management. Mm -hmm. So I specify times for blogging, mm -hmm. specify times I go for music studio, productions and the rest and manage it with my work. So you do three things. And that, now what you, you just picked a, a solid point, time management. So now aside, okay, very soon now, let me see, say it again. You're still going to get married in like, in like, let's say two months in July, you'll be, you'll be July 9, 10 is the date. You'll be married, you'll be getting married. Mm -hmm. Now you have more responsibility on it. So how, how are you seeing yourself in that period? Okay, it's something, it's all, it's all about your idea and your sense of responsibility. Because no matter the amount of tax given to you, life must surely bring you tax every day. So your ability to control everything around you and put everything on the balance, that's life for you. Okay, now I, I want to really start let's now let me start asking you the really because this one's this questions are like personal personal question now how being a blogger a gospel music blogger how has it been all this while what are the challenges you have faced because you know most times you hear things like gospel music ministers will be like let me put my song on your blog and you want to go and put it there at the end of the day say ah, god will bless you at the end no financial gain or anything sometimes some people call it like a sack like it's a service to humanity so how far has it been as a blogger okay what I can say is that when I started 2017 I reached out to some gospel bloggers they're like uh, sorry gospel bloggers yes some of them turned me down and I reached out to some gospel music ministers they're like no your blog is too small the reach is that little that and that giving so many excuses but I didn't give up at that time because I think I run the whole full year without making anything 
from it. Uh -huh. So I keep updating the platform, updating the platform and doing a lot of things mm -hmm. for that one year. Tell you, I got the opportunity of joining the international media, gospel music and media practitioners on, of Nigeria. And that's where I started getting more clients and getting to work with other bigger colleagues in the field. Mm -hmm. Oh, so so at some point you worked without money. Yeah. How, how did you now survive? The, how did you now, um, I mean, decide? How did you work with it? Yeah, that's where you have to spend your own money hmm. because that's your idea, and nobody will give you that. I nobody will help you without you making your own head sacrifice for your idea. Hmm. Oh ho. I think you need to say that is like punchline. No, when you're in church and I like, remember those drop. So now, gospel music ministry has it been for you all this while. Uh, it's not been easy. The how will I put it? Um, I'm trying to look for the right word. Like the acceptance from the church. You know, it's not always ah no, we not. You're still young. This and that. Like no, we want those big ones so that they will draw members to church and that and that. I know it's not been a funny um, journey. Like when going to Radio House and the rest, I know I trekked Abuja a lot <laughs> from one Radio House to the other, but 2015 and I said, God, this is your work. I can't be begging for events. I can't be begging for my songs to be aired. I've stopped. This is the end of myself. Mm -hmm. So it's your work. Do it the way you want. But I'll be making sure I'm making my own plans. Mm -hmm. So that's how from there, little by little, people start recommending getting events to minister and the rest and God has been faithful. And there, there is a, there's an event that you do? Yeah, okay. I Because of the pressure of people looking for platforms and so I now talk to myself, why looking for a platform where you can actually create one yourself? Mm -hmm. So I now came up with um, In His Presence Worship Experience every year. It was born out of the idea of Pastor Deboe's Every March, his birthday that we do Messiah Marathon Press. So that's why I said, if he's doing this, then I can do this also as my own vision and give back to the society. Wow. So, okay. Now, I've, I've, I've gotten a whole lot from these things. So, now, uh, we have people that are aspiring to be gospel bloggers. You know, people, like, their playlist is very dope. I mean, gospel music, they have it back-to-back, -back, all lined up. And they also have different news and stories. And I want to start start up as a, as a newbie in, in this gospel music blogging. So what uh, would you advise those people? Okay, what I will only say is that believe in yourself first because nobody will believe in you. If they are, even if your idea can bring one billion, nobody will believe in you from the beginning. You have to earn it to yourself, believe it that it can work. Mm -hmm. Because there are times where you need to subscribe your phone, mm -hmm. subscribe your modem. Mm -hmm. So how will you cope? If you have not, make sure that you're willing to sacrifice everything for what you're actually giving out. For. That's what I can say. That you give out the time, sacrifice, and also try to connect to people. Because people are the door to your next level. Okay, people are the door to your next level. Let's go on this short break. We'll be right back immediately. <laughs> Welcome back from that short break. This is still Hangout with Busayo. And today uh, in the show, we have uh, Felix Jr. He is the owner and CEO of Niger Gospel Play and also a gospel music minister. He has taught us and told us a whole lot of things that has helped him from sacrifice to dedication towards his cause. And I earlier mentioned that he's getting married in two months time. I don't know why I'm doing the advert of his marriage because I don't want his rights to do. He want to do shame me. Pack rice and go. <laughs> <laughs> so we are, we are here with him in the studio and I just have two more questions for him before we leave the studio this uh, evening and the question I want to ask is what would you advise you've advised people that want to be a gospel blogger before now and now what if people who are gospel music ministers that want to become bloggers how can they shuffle those two together you are doing it oh, <clears throat> oh that's a big one I uh, I can't really say that I've really managed that well because it's not easy there are so many things I wanted to do for the blog. I have to cut them. I'm trying to make it as simple and simple and consistent. Because as a blogger, you need to get more other features, interact with your viewers and listeners. Now, what I can only say is that 
pick what you can at, uh, how will I put it? pick what you can handle make your time management so if you know you are busy weekends for programs make sure you use your Fridays or Thursdays to schedule your posts that's why there's future for scheduling of posts you can schedule oh today I schedule for or Friday I will not be available schedule five posts Saturday I will not be available I schedule another five posts Sunday I will not be available so that you keep your blog updated so that's just what I can say you make your plans and try to actualize them okay make your plans and try to actualize them something popped up in my head now I wanted to ask yes I want to see it yes I I, I think he needs to get the title of Bobo Niche before he leaves the studio today <laughs> Felix aside the fact that you are working you have your own job you are doing you're also a gospel music minister you're also a, a blogger you do graphic design you do Another Bobo Niche material. So you are, you're like, I, I'm, I'm still amazed how you are able to combine these things. And I, although definitely you know that there are pressures there. But now, let's just, last feature, let's just know about your gospel music, how you started uh, your gospel music. When did you notice that the call of being a gospel music minister was upon your life? How you moved? I know you caught everything in righteousness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <coughs> okay. Like how I started was when I was in Calabar 2011. The 2-12, uh, normally I liked music. So I was just singing, singing. The next door neighbor was a pastor. One day he called me like, why don't you start writing a song? I was like, writing a song? I've been writing a lot of songs. <laughs> so why this special time? I said, no, I should just write. So I went and I gave myself a target of meeting up 50 songs. So I was just busy. I was going through the book of Psalm, writing, writing, writing. And I finished another meeting. I wrote, I wrote some songs. I was like, wow, okay, that's good. Why don't you go to the studio? I was like, studio. <laughs> and everything was just happening so fast. I was like, studio. I don't know what was just pushing me. As they were just giving me those next steps, I was just going. And that's how I went to the studio. I met somebody, asked how much he told me. And I was like, oh, I can't afford it. I started. Uh, after everything, I moved down to Abuja 2013. And, and I saw the, how what's happening around Abuja and the world, the music production quality. I had to dump what I started in Calabar mm. because it was not meeting up to standard. Yeah. So I just had to drop those projects and start afresh 2017. That's when I started releasing the first official song that I released, Yahweh. Okay, I, 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 one thing that I'm promising us I mean, you listening to me. At the end of this program, we'll enjoy my all from Felix. We'll enjoy it. I mean, we'll enjoy the song very well. So that you will know that uh, it's the talk I'm just talking now is not this listening. So finally, the last question I want to really ask you. I, I think this is a little bit personal, but how did you meet your wife? I'm not even looking at the camera now. Okay, the, that, wife one, no, that, that one will be... I'll send you a text message on that. I know you. <laughs> that's my problem, bro. That's my, just is, is as short as possible. Maybe you don't want to maybe tell us the details, but how did you meet her? Where did you meet her? I, I learned she's a gospel music minister too. Yeah, so she is it that there is a gospel music, there's a collaboration. <laughs> so I mean, I'm, say, Look, I'm not seeing anything. Shall let me just no, mm. no, we met from an association where other like a fellowship where other music ministers influencer in the gospel music industry and meet so that's where we started talking from. Mm. We saw each other, and that's mm -hmm. how. And that's the how. Moved. That's how July 9th and 10th will now be reality. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Felix, for joining us today on the program. Thank we'll you. Really More music at NigeriaGospelPlay.com. Awesome wonder, strong and breasted world, great I am, ever faithful God. Awesome wonder, strong and breasted world, great I am, ever faithful God. You were everything to me, everything to me. You were everything to me. You were everything to me. Yes, you were everything to me. You 
Don't worry, we'll bring another content to you next week on Hangar with Busayo. But before I go, I just want to let you know that we are going to go and shorten the ration of rice in this guy's wedding. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking, but you, you want to know the place when you just DM me, send me a message. <laughs> and I'll tell you, so we're going to recruit. I told you that we're going to extend, we're going to extend the hall and we're going to have our own day. Thank you very much, Felix, for one more time. You're welcome for coming. See you next week and bye. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Hangout with Busayo. Nothing happens by accident. There are things our eyes cannot see. A complete one. Every challenge you have to be strategized. Look at what you can do to, to beat the odds to come up higher. Really?